Welcome, Namaste. I am going to talk something about uh, beauty and happiness. I want to share my own experience with you, what I have gone through, how I made it happen, how I have reached and how I have helped others. Uh, I share with you 30 years of experience in research, working with people and, uh, and all my uh, conclusions and, you know, and observations and uh, made this final uh, uh, what, outcome what I am going to share with you as a different, uh, different uh, topics. First one is quest. The first apparent quest for us is our desire to remain young forever. Everybody is fear of age growing old and everybody want to extend their life. So no, everybody want to stop the aging. That's what we are looking for first. We want to a, not age. Okay. The, but the reality is we have a chronological aging. The body age as we get older. That's what our DNA will determine how much you grow old. Now, if you have a cat, if you have a dog, they have a different age for aging. All right. But human can live longer. Unfortunately, the society we are living in, we are being trying to do different uh, stop the aging, we are trying different uh, uh, products, different uh, procedures or protocols or you know, we are trying to do that. Good example is people may be using the um, uh, growth hormones, you know, you inject growth hormone to be stay younger, okay. It may have side implications, but still they try to do that, you know. Uh, so, so that's a good example we are trying to stop growing. We have products and ingredients, everybody come and tell this will stop the aging process. There are supplements and others, everybody will come and say, you know, it's going to stop, stop the aging process. In fact, there are 18 theories of aging. One is a wear and tear, which is more like a, a tire or a car, you know, it wear and tear. Second one, calorie restriction, you can restrict the calorie. They, the third one will be a, a genetic uh, control, okay. The other one will be, the fourth one will be, you can um, uh, starve, keep the calorie down and you can make it, um, you know, uh, slow, slow down the aging process. So, and the final one, you know, is one which is called free radical aging process. There are certain things in your body, okay, when out from outside and from inside can on a continuous basis create this free radical, creates is called free radical, which can trigger the alteration of your DNA inside and outside. That one will happen to us in the modern society. It is not just on the toxic ingredient or that we call endocrine disruptors. You know, there are certain, you hear about the, the preservatives, uh, preservatives. There's a one called parabens, you know, you hear about that. Then you hear about the pesticides. Then you hear about certain chemicals, you know. So they can actually create an inflammation on the skin. But in, at the same time, there are some people will have the sun the sun, UV, ultraviolet rays of the sun can affect some people the, if you don't have uh, pigments. If you have a light skinned person, they can come and affect your melanocytes. You know, they are the one give you the pigments. They actually can eventually change the DNA of the melanocytes and you can get cancer. There are different types of cancer. Or you can get stress. We are in a world of being full of stress. We all have stress. I know. Now, we all have stress. 
it is not this when you have a stress this actually actually activate our the fight or flight hormones you know you heard about cortisol the hormones are only there for emergency like uh, your ancestors or the animals they had to fight or had to run away now this is only for emergency not for all the time when you are under stress okay so you are, it create this uh, cortisol and actually it can suppress your immune system okay when your immune system is down the alteration of the dna can come quick and permanent and sometimes it can trigger the uh, your aging of the uh, skin aging of the organs so a lot of diseases and even it can link to even trigger the cancer cells so it's very important the stress in our life too i know we all have stress if somebody there i don't have a stress under you are a person who really meditate and calm your body and nothing bothers you most of the people we know that we have stress and we don't know we are go under through stress and i know if you deny i know you are you are smoking okay we all have stress there's nothing wrong with it it's okay to have stress but there are ways you can manage it or you can balance it that's all it is so it's very important you have to look into what is causing your aging process that's very important to understand that before we look for what we have to alternatives